Cartoon Boy. Cartoon Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of What's So Funny, a show where we talk to funny people about being funny. Your guest this week is returning to the show. He's a friend, what can I say, and a star of Corner Gas, both live action and newly animated. It's the cartoon boy himself, Fred Iwanek. And of course, we have your host, it's Mr. Guy McPherson. Thank you, Sam Tonning. And first of all, before we go any further, I got to say a happy birthday to Chris Paul of the Houston Rockets, <laughs> who defeated the Utah Jazz I'll tonight in the playoffs. Also, it's Sam Tonning's birthday. Yes, it is. Happy birthday, Thank Sam. you very much. And uh, you got uh, you got s- some help in the room I with got, you. I have a special guest here. He's on his phone. It's my it's my old man, Alec Lee. He's here. Hey, Dad. How are you? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Yeah. All the way from Victoria. He's, he's, yeah. he's uh, chaperoning me on my, right. my visit. So, Alec, any questions you have, you just feel free to... Uh, Poke Sam. Yeah. Yeah, I will do just that. Yeah. Okay. I'm keep used him, to that. Keep him to yourself. <laughs> Very good. Okay, <laughs> no. your mic's cut, Dad. <laughs> Freddie Wanick, welcome back. Yeah, hey, thanks for thanks for having me. Not only Again. Sam, yeah, 15 months ago you were here. I was wondering how, it, I, I, it wasn't as long as I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, lots happened in your career since then. For, like, for instance, yeah. now you play this character named Hank. On car- on a cartoon version. I know it's crazy. Of Corner Gas. Yeah. Wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? I know. When I'll you, take it. <laughs> your memory isn't the best. No, it's not. And I don't remember what we talked about, but I do remember this: that uh, you said, and at, at this point, the animated version wasn't even anyone in anyone's thought, was it? No, hadn't, no. hadn't heard people about it. Yeah. So Corner Gas was behind you by a few years. Yeah, yeah, but you more did, than a few. <laughs> you did, you did Dan for mayor. Yeah, but you said like your favorite character. You you would love to play him for the rest of your life was Hank. I did say that, and that's true. Yeah. That's actually true. I wasn't lying. Som- and- sometimes I th- say things just to be cool. <laughs> well, you got to fill the airwaves somehow. <laughs> yeah, no, I would. I mean, I I loved I loved every bit about Hank, and and uh, it's awesome that the two worlds came together. I, I've I've wanted to do voices for cartoon for a really long time, and so it's just crazy that the two things have come together. Yeah, have you tried? Yeah, I've tried. I've tried, and I I had a little bit. I've I've been getting a little bit of work uh, doing it. I sure I'd like to get more, but I'm starting to think maybe I just don't have the chops. But uh, well, as Hank, you play your voice. It's yeah, just, it would have been something something <laughs> awful if, <laughs> if I had to audition for Hank, and, and they got oh, that would be. T- it's, I think it's actually in my contract that they can uh, they can get a likeness if they need they feel uh, the need. Oh, to. really? Do, yeah, do the right. Gilbert yeah. Gat- Gilbert Gottfried Affleck duck thing where they fired him and then got an impersonator. A guy that did him for a lot cheaper. Oh man, they should have auditioned me. I think I could have done <laughs> that. You do it. Gilbert? Yes. Let's hear it. What, what is it? Affleck. Like, isn't that it? Hey, that's a solid 8 out of 10. <laughs> eight, uh, what? 8? That's it? That's a win. Well, I guess it is higher than 50%. Yeah. All right. Take it. <laughs> do you do other voices? Because I always think I cartoon know. voices, you got to do like little baby voices and things like that. Yeah. Uh, don't put me on the spot. I'm not going to. I, you, <laughs> I will trust your answer, you know, in the positive. Oh, yeah. I'm like the rich little of our generation. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, more like, uh, who was it? Was it Kevin McDonald that did the, uh, I'm the man of a thousand voices. Who was that? That and, sounds like Kevin McDonald. Yeah, and he was just like, yeah, it's, I'm the man of a thousand and voices. I was watching. I'll be back. I'm the man. Like it was. It's pretty funny. It's just the same guy. But uh, no, I try. I mean, I've been. I I did a show. I had. A, I was on a show that ran for quite a while called Dino Trucks. It's like a kids uh, show, and I had to do a guy on that that didn't. Oh, uh, this is. It. Yeah. Yeah, this is sounding vaguely familiar now. Yeah, <laughs> I think we talked about Dino I was, Trucks. Was I do? I must have been doing it then. It was my first thing. I loved oh. the cartoons. I want. Yeah, to yeah, because you don't have to shave. I don't You're in here looking all scruffy. Yeah, yeah. And me too. But There's I, a audio proof of that. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, you played Click Clack? 
Oh, you just looked that up? I totally did. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. You know yeah. that? No, but I looked it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> doesn't know anything about this show. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. That's, I'm, the, I'm the dumb guy. They brought it oh up. Oh, my God. Day. You play Click? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen it. No. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Do you still play Click Clack? No, they're done. They're oh, done okay. there. Yeah, we're all finished. Yeah, yeah. And so you've done one season of Corner Gas Animated. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Corner, Corner Gas, Gas Animated. Animated yeah. yeah. And I've only seen the first episode. Really liked it. I, I think it's great. Look, yeah. Uh, when Brent called us. That would uh, be Brent Butt. Brent Butt, yeah, name dropping. I'm always dropping his name, like, <laughs> hoping it gets me things. <laughs> Hasn't yet. Maybe he's not that big of a name. No, he's a pretty big name. Um, what the hell was I saying? Uh, it's one season. Oh, yeah, one season. It's pretty season. good. It, I said I saw the first episode. Yeah, and when Brent, uh, he, I, you know, he called us all up individually and asked us what we thought of the idea, and, and I was like, yeah, I could use work, and I thought it was a great <laughs> idea. And then I hung up, and I'm like, after I hung up with him, I thought, well, how's that? Who's going to watch a Corner Gas cartoon? Like, how's that guy? Oh, well. And we did this little demo for it, and uh, it was it was super fun to do the demo. And then I, I saw the demo, and I was like, oh, oh yeah, it works. It, it really works. I, I, I really, I like it kind of better than the original show. Oh, do you? I do. I mean, I did, that's well, not different. a slag against it. It's different. It, it is different, but uh, I find it, uh, I don't know, I like cartoons, so right. I find yeah. it better. I think the show lends itself to having an animated program. I mean, you look at it, it's like the exaggerated everything, and yeah. it works so well. It's that's, awesome. That's what, um, Norm Hitchcock was one of the writers, and he wrote for King of the Hill, um, amongst other a whole bunch of other shows. And Brent said that he called him to get his opinion of it. And he, you know, and Brent was like, you know, what should we do? Should we change? And, and Norm was like, don't change anything. Just <laughs> write more Corner Gas, and it's an animated. Yeah, it's gonna yeah be American good. Dad, King of the Hill, all these shows are just set. In a house with a regular family, that's a bit odd. Yeah, yours set in a little town. Yeah, I think it, I think it works. I I like it, and, and like the the mass majority of the feedback that I've been getting has been really positive. People seem to really like it. But Fred Iwanek, but, but well, no, no, it's ominous. As, 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 um, it's late. I can't talk. <laughs> ominous, ominous. Thanks. When uh, as one of the stars, would you hear? from people if they didn't like it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we were doing Dan Like, would your we friends just... say, oh, Fred, this is not oh, good. No, okay. Now, here, here's where we could, because, like, I, so I'm still playing the beer league hockey. Yeah. And the guys are, like, ruthless. Okay. Like, like if, and, <laughs> and, and the guys after, they're all giving me the gears about it, you know, like, oh, the gift that keeps on giving is, like, you know, why don't you just let that show die and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> they're just giving it to me. And then the, the, the first game we had after the first one aired, a few of the guys were like, you know, that, um, that was really good, actually. I really quite enjoyed that show. It was really good. So, have you been playing with them since even before the original Corner Gas? Um, kind of just started. So, I've, the guy, the group, of, the main group of guys that I've been with now, uh, we've been together, yeah, you know, oh, seven, eight years, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been okay. together for a while. They, uh, anyone in the arts? Uh, couple. Couple guys, yeah, yeah. Couple guys, so but they get it's it's mostly they got to watch their criticism then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say like doing other stuff. You kind of don't know what people tell you. Everything's amazing. Like you know, you, your gut feeling is like I don't think this is going so. Hard. Oh no, it's great. It's great. It's love. Everyone loves it. Like the, yeah. the, oh, oh yes, it's, it's a real problem. That's why you need critics in this world, right, Sam? Yeah. Correct. That's. Are you saying that to protect your I'm job? Yeah, I'm saying that to protect me. But also, as a stand-up, yes. you, you would know, like, every time, and you must have said this and you must have heard this, okay. you get off stage, yeah. no matter how you perform, and people say, hey, great set. Yeah, it's... Nobody they, will say, yeah, no. yeah, I don't think that worked tonight. Well, there's, like, a couple people there's that do, and when they do, I'm like, <laughs> oh, that was shit. <laughs> My uh, my agent, my film TV agent, he's he's no bullshit guy. Like he'll, if I send in a tape, he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna send that one in. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I, well, I, I prefer that. I I, sure. don't, I don't like like an audition know. tape. Yeah, an audition yeah, tape. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I prefer just if, if I kind of know, like you know, when you're doing something that's kind of crap, and then what I hate about myself is then I start believing. You know, the, what people are, oh, no, no, it's good. No, no, it totally works. It's good. Oof. And you're like, uh, I guess it works. I guess, right. Right, right, I guess it works. Then you watch it like, this is crap. <laughs> that has rarely happened to you, I'm sure. Oh, no, I've done my fair share. Go, uh, go look up Absolute Zero. It's a movie you might be able to find it in the bargain bin at, like, you know, Save on Foods. Who's in that? Uh, oh, Lawnmower Man. Um, 
One more man. Johnny uh, Depp. No. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Oh, no. He was a really gr- – he was a great dude, actually. And the, the first day, he, he kind of realized what he gotten himself into. So the shoot was a lot of fun. Yeah. But the movie was just – it was, it was an absolute zero. It was an absolute zero. Wow. <laughs> Who is Lawnmower Man? I don't. Was it Jeff? Fl- Jeff Fahey. Fahey? Yeah. yeah, Jeff Fahey. He he was he he was a, he's oh. a great. Well, I don't know what he's like now, but at the time he was a great dude, and he made that shoot a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it doesn't sound like it was your fault, though. That well, was, I, that was a group I, effort. No, well, yeah, <laughs> but you're part, you're part of it. You're part of the problem. I, like, yeah. have you, you know? seen this movie, guy? No, have you? No, but I want to read the first uh, yeah. paragraph from the plot. Oh, Is that yeah. okay? For yeah, you? yeah. No. And then I maybe I'll tell you about my death scene. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna spoil <laughs> oh, it, but yeah, man. yeah. I, I gotta usually you. tell people to just pause for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so David. Uh, Koch or Coke or whatever. Uh, that's Jeff Fahey's role. Yeah. He's a climatologist employed Wait, by... Sorry sorry to cut you off. Yeah. He was a climate... Uh, what was he? A climatologist. Climatologist who drove a Hummer. <laughs> so, okay, Perfect. So go. <laughs> yeah. He's a climatologist employed by Intersci, whatever that is. Yeah. Uh, and he proposes a theory that the last ice age was triggered by Earth's polar shift in a single day. Yeah. When unusually cold weather strikes Miami and the birds start to return from the south a few months earlier, he is sent to Antarctica to find out what is happening. Yeah. I just I just got a flashback of the first day of shooting. We uh, so it was Jeff Fahey, myself, and a couple other actors, and in the scene we we pull up in his Hummer about. I don't know, a block away from the door when we could have driven right up to the door. But anyway, we drive, we, and then we were getting out of the car and we got to run into the into the facility. And uh, Mr. Fahey says to the director, he's like, okay, wh- what are we running from? And the director says, the cold. <laughs> Fahey's like, all right. And then we get in the car and he goes, he leans over, I, I, can't, I don't think he leaned over, he said something to the effect of, well, well, we'll just have as much fun as we can. <laughs> and then we roll, and he gets out of the car. We weren't supposed to say anything. He goes, he gets out of the car, and he goes, come on, hurry! It's cold! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's that was, perfect. Yeah. This was not a comedy? No. No. Well, no. Hey, <laughs> did you get to fly to Antarctica to film this? Uh, no. <laughs> what, Burnaby? I, got, I, got, I had to drive myself to Burnaby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though I don't know I don't so what, are, what is your death scene oh yeah yeah so well, at some point of the movie we had to get from one side of the facility to the other and it was connected but somehow the only way you could get to the other part of the facility was to go from uh, an outside second story outside door to another second story outside door and part of it had collapsed and you had to shimmy across this beam and uh we were in these spacesuits because it's really cold out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I heard. <laughs> and uh, so during shooting this, you can't hear anything in the spacesuit. Like once you got the helmet on, you can't hear what anybody's saying to you. So you get your notes and okay, and then you this. And I'm the first guy across, and the, the way it's supposed to go is I shimmy across, I get there, I open up the door, and everybody follows me and goes inside. Right? I was all right. So we're right. Okay, okay, okay. But what you know, the way it's supposed to go is you get there, and I get there, and I can't open the door, and then this blast of uh, it cracks, and because and I get blown off the second story and die. <laughs> Wow. But but uh, the way it goes is I can't hear anything. So I'm like shimmying across, and I get to the door, and I'm supposed to do this fake open and fall over. And, and then the director's yelling at something at me, and I'm like I'm like hitting the thing. You can't and, hear and I can't hear him. I'm like, what? And he's like, hit it harder. Hit it harder? Yeah. Okay. And I hit it harder, and I do this lame stumble back. Well, he used my dialogue with the director in the movie. So in the movie, it's like me like getting to the door, and I'm hitting on it, and then Faye, he's going, Philip, no! And I'm like, what? No! Hit it harder? Okay. <laughs> hey, that's perfect. Aww. And then I go fall into my death. <laughs> Big role, though? You were one uh, of the main yeah. guys? No, you, you didn't die early on, did you? I was like mid. I don't know. Nice. It was yeah. Maybe midway. Through. I gotta see this. What year yeah. is it? Uh, what you know? Two thousand six. Oh man, I'm old. The two mm. years into Corner Gas's run. Yeah. Well, I think that's when it came out. I shot it before. Oh, Corner Gas, really? I think so. Wow. That's I think cool. I'd already done. I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember. Too many pucks to the head. I tried to start <laughs> a. Oh, by the way, we 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 need to. Uh, 
get you to do something for us. Oh right? yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, we need to give a station identification, and oh. we want to we want to get our guests now to give these so that we can run them later on. So, so yeah, we're doing it live on the radio. We're doing it live. Yeah. All right. You got to fill in the blanks. This is this so. is a cold read. Yeah. Perfect. I can be the blank. Could be. Does it have to be my name? Uh, well, I don't know. Let's I'm, let's try a few. Right. Yeah, let's have some fun. Uh, I'm going to screw this up. This is a cold read. No, no doubt. This is a full page of stuff. <laughs> but the people, but the correct. People, I'm not lying. You are technically correct. Yes. <laughs> it's the tiniest page. All right. Any time or what? This Do, uh, is this is riveting. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's weird. This is Fred Awanek, and you're listening to What's So Funny on CFRO. One oh, did you say one hundred or one zero zero point five? One hundred point five. What <laughs> do you say? This is perfect. Hundred point five. Uh, hundred point five. Yeah, one hundred. Who says one hundred? Well, you could say one hundred, but 100.5. you don't go one zero zero, or you don't go ten zero. Well, if it's one oh four, they go one oh four point five. So you could, oh, yeah, but so wouldn't you go one oh oh? <laughs> 108.5. If you want to do that, that'd be pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Are we live, by the way? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are, yeah. This is There's no delay on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I feel like I should do a radio voice. This is Fred Awanek. You're listening to What's So Funny on CFRO. 100. <laughs> <laughs> One zero zero. I want to say one oh, zero hey. zero is American. One hundred point five. Hundred point five. Hundred point five. Is that what everyone says? Yeah. All right. Okay. This is why I can't get work. <laughs> All right. This is Fred Awanek. You're listening to What's So Funny on CFRO 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio. Why are you laughing? I said it right. That is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was great. One of the <laughs> finest thespians in the business. Oh, that great job, Fred. Thank uh, you. You want Pesci to do it? This is your Pesci. You're listening to What's So Funny on CFRO 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio. Awesome. Now we That's got amazing. two. We That's got great. two. Hey, can you do... Uh, <laughs> Can you? Who else? Who else? Can you do you Brent? Brent? No, I can't do Brent. Okay. Brent's got a very distinct yeah, voice, and I'm yeah, not. I'm sorry. not. I'm not really the rich little of our generation. <laughs> Can you do uh, Kevin McDonald? <laughs> I'm a man of a thousand voices. <laughs> no, I don't think I could do this in that name. I can only do. Oh, you're uh, listening too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do it. I hope he's not listening. He's going to punch me next time. I see well, him. you know, that was me. He will punch. No, yeah, but he'll think it's me. He doesn't know what channel it is unless he sees the edit. Uh oh. Thanks, Fred. Sorry. No problem. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. I got to tack something on top of that, though. I know this is this has become the uh, plug show, but uh, oh, two weeks. Yeah, we have two weeks of plugging. Yeah. Well, this is our last one. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, but, what are you plugging? It, well, it's fundraising season for the station. That's why we have you in here. Oh, for, yeah. We, well, we get a name. Guys, in. I only got. Uh, I think I got. I think I got a toonie. Hey, that's great. That'll pay for guys' uh, parking. Um, but no, the announcement, and uh, so all in Radio Land listening right now on July twenty fourth, we're actually doing a fundraiser show. Oh, that's for, right. For uh, what's so funny and CFRO one hundred point five, Vancouver Cooperative Radio. What's the date? Uh, July 24th, it's a Tuesday. Just put that in my calendar. Yeah. And Fred, you will not be on the show unless you want to be. Oh, <laughs> oh and he said 100.5. Yeah, I say 100. Yeah, he made me say 100. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You Run said 100. Well, <laughs> yeah. Do you what want to do it again? Uh, we'll do it again in 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> you can fix it. But yeah, July 24th at Kino yes. Cafe. Yes. It's an all-star comedy lineup. We're going to have stand-up. We're going to have improv. We're going to have magic. Musical have comedy. Musical comedy. Oh, yeah. People who've been on the show before. Yeah, only guests who've been on the show before who haven't acted like Fred. No. Right. Well, I'm not a stand up. I'm just. No, no. You're a, a, a professional entertainer. I am a proper actor. But if we, actor. Give him, yeah, exactly. if, if we give him something to read cold on stage, it would be pretty great. <laughs> just give him the PRA so we're good to go. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> uh, is that it? Great. That's it. All right. Uh, Fred, uh, you know, I tried to get a, a campaign started to get you hired on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, that uh, would have been great. Wouldn't that have been? Yeah. I mean, I, every time I watch that show, I just think you and the guy who... I, don't I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. No, oh, you haven't seen it. <laughs> really? No, but I know it's a good show. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Like, I could see you being his brother or some relation, you know? Oh, that's not true. I did watch one episode. Yeah, it was on Netflix. Just to see. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Not from them, but from before. But oh, yeah, okay, it was yeah, very yeah. funny. We got to get that going. Well, Norm Hiscock wrote for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. So there's a connection there. I don't know oh. if you knew that connection, Guy. What a, I can't believe he didn't. At least the writer, writers don't get to cast. That's true. Yeah, if only. He, yeah. he wouldn't have cast me anyway. <laughs> you know, uh, in all your your various roles in film and TV, did you ever corpse? 
What the? This is something that Ryan Beal taught us last <laughs> the week. Hell is corpse? Oh, you don't know? Good, because no. Ryan said uh, he he doesn't often corpse, except for he did once. Uh, that's where you you break character and you just get the giggles and you can't stop laughing when you oh. should be. Uh, oh God! All the yeah, yeah all, all the, the time. time. <laughs> but it's you never see it. They cut it out. I know, yeah. but. That's called corpsing? Yeah, because he said in Shakespearean times, the, the actors who would play dead, you know, if they start to get the uh, giggles. Oh, all right. Let's see where that comes from. All right. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. No, I get the giggle, giggle something fierce. Like, so, I'm, I'm probably the worst for it on, like, Corner Gas, I would lose it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and but the, the, that must drive the producers or director or and sometimes the other actors nutty like hey just get on with it. Yeah, probably. Maybe that's why they never call. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all it was all such I mean you guys were so close and it was fun. Yeah, we got I mean it was fun and it didn't happen a whole bunch. Like I don't think we ever wasted time doing it. You know, like it, the thing about Corner Gas is um it's a Canadian show, and you don't, you know, you 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 don't. They don't want to go over into overtime, so everyone knows you kind of have to get it going. But sometimes that makes it worse, right? When you know you're kind of <laughs> yeah, holding stuff like, up, and right, it's like yeah. you're not supposed to laugh at yeah. a funeral or church. I, I love that oh. feeling though, like uncontrollable giggles. Like mm-hmm. to me, it's the funnest thing when you and somebody else are, I don't know, school. Like when we were kids, oh, I loved it. I kicked out of class a few times. So, what's the most number of takes it has taken you to get something? Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know the exact number. I, I, I'm i just remembering a time there was a... I can't remember the word it was that I couldn't say, but it was a scene uh, in the in the, in the the gas station, and I had to say a word. And I, it was like just a normal word, and I couldn't... I just couldn't say it. Like, it just came out... Came ominous? Out like, was it oh, ominous? Man, it was probably omin- ominous. <laughs> on, on, <laughs> ominous. Something like that. And uh, luckily, Brent found it funny, and he was giggling, and... I'd say luckily, like he wasn't like a tyrant or anything, but <laughs> like he's just violent. You know, he's just trying to get through your day, and this idiot can't say it. Just say the word. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I'm surprised that I'm always surprised to get work. I think I'm terrible. But you keep getting it, so you got to be able to logically look at that and say, "Yeah, I'm not terrible." Yeah, I think maybe they the first in a lot of cases their first choice bailed at the last minute. And like, hey, you'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I keep telling people. So people come up to me and they say I look like uh, Mark Ruffalo, and I so hey, I like, that's yeah. right. I well, never thought of no, that until no. you just said yeah, it. Yeah, and so I'm I'm always like I was telling my agents like F- find out what they're like they, they got Ruffalo on the on the table for and just say look I got a guy you can do it for half the price <laughs> half yeah half I'll yeah. do it for half yeah, what right. Ruffalo's making yeah. I'll do it for hell. Half. He'll be his stand-in. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, Maybe actually, not. I was at a thing, and some somebody came up and asked for my autograph, and I was like, oh, okay. And, and it was not corner gas related or anything. And then they went away, and they were all giggly, and I lo- looked at them, and they were looking at looking at me, <laughs> looking at that, like, and they crumpled it up and threw it away. <laughs> I think they might have thought I was Mark Ruff. <laughs> the lights were pretty dim, so. That's oh, good. that's good. So um, you you love voice acting. What are some of the pros and cons? I mean, well, the thing, well, it's fun. You you get to be creative. You have, you know, you you get to act. Um, you still do all that sort of stuff. You don't have to go through wardrobe. You don't have to go through hair and makeup. You don't have to get there at like. You're not getting picked up at 4.30 or 5 in the morning to get to set for 7 or, you know, whatever if you're driving from town. Yeah. And, uh, but the the thing I like most is when you go in for an audition for TV and film, it's like nothing like the job. Like, it's like this, everyone's, like, you, you, you ever done a TV film audition? No. So you go in and you're, you're you know, it's, it's just nothing like the job. You walk in, there's a bunch of people that, that you know, are kind of on a couch looking at you and then the person behind the camera with a paper in their face that are reading the lines that you're not supposed to say that they're supposed to say they're reading it dispassionately well most of the time they try for the most part they you know they try but sometimes the worst is when you're the first one in for the next character and they haven't gone through the script yet and so they're like and and so they're not paying attention you're not really acting with anybody and the worst is if you got to do something where like okay so in this scene you're uh so you're you're like a line on the uh, doctor's table and your your intestines are like pulled right out of you so it's very horrific so you need to scream and you're like standing there and it was like (laughs) you know like all right whereas like when you go for an audition or for for um, animation it's exactly like the job it's like exactly what you'll be doing for the job so it's you just speak into a microphone and you read some lines you do do the lines and they give you some notes you do it again and it and it's fun whereas tv and film it's like i don't know it can be kind of a not as fun 
but you love it. No, I hate it. I hate everything to do with auditioning. I no, do with auditioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. A big yeah. star like yourself shouldn't have to audition. <laughs> well, I, I wish that was the case. I'm not. But see, it's Canada. I'm not. I'm like either. I'm in Canada. You're like, oh, you were on a show. Oh, good. They all know. Do you get recognized now? I mean, you got the beard going. Yeah, I got the beard. Uh, sometimes. Hey, there's Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you get? Yeah. Why are you driving a Mitsubishi? That makes no sense. Oh, great car! I would I imagine it's a great car. Yeah, I love right, my car. Man. Some guy gave me crap. He's like, uh, he did. This is actually true. I, I get out of my my Mitsubishi Outlander 2008. It's a fantastic car. 2008. Yeah, late model. Late I like model. it. <laughs> I <can't. laughs> and uh, I get out of the car, and some guy's on a he's on a bike, like a motorbike, like a not a Harley, but like a Harley. He's like, hey, you drive a Mitsubishi? And I'm like, yeah? It was, I bet Brent Butt doesn't drive a Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess. Yeah, it's a Honda. <laughs> what know. does he drive? I don't know what he drives, actually. I bet you, though, when you have to call, you know, a service person or, or a store, whatever, pizza delivery guy, everyone recognizes your voice. They must. I don't know. No, people, people have said that, though. They, they, they don't recognize me until I talk. Mm-hmm. Which is weird because I don't think I have that distinctive a voice. I think you have a very distinctive voice. I agree. What's well, just yeah. what's distinctive? Maybe I, that's why know, I can't get any uh, voiceover <laughs> work. I bet you Rich Little could do a Freddie Wanick impression. I bet he couldn't. I bet Simon King could. I I'm pretty sure Simon oh, King could. We, yeah, yeah, we should. Uh, that but I don't think it's that distinctive a voice. Yeah, like, I think it's very doable. It's no, all right. Well, I think they could just come up and talk like, "Hey, my name's Fred Awanek." Like, oh my God, that's bang on! Because I just think I have you a just normal. did another character there. Another, see, I'm that's like, killer, I'm man. a man of a thousand voices. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's good. How many shows have you been in? I mean, you say, "Oh, I'm no good," but like, do you know your IMDb page? I haven't looked at it. I don't know the exact I number. Know, Sam could count. I don't. No, I don't think. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm terrible. I think I'm. <laughs> you're great. <laughs> but I do have. See, this is what we were talking about earlier. Oh, God, I must be good. <laughs> yeah, everyone tells me I'm great. I, uh, my dad has recently. Uh, he's he said something in the booth here. Dad, you wanna you wanna say it on air, please? It was, it was Mel Blank was the man with a thousand voices. Oh, oh Mel Blank, there right, you go. Great cartoon. He was Barney Rubble. Oh yeah, yeah. But I, I guess Mc, Kevin McDonald was doing a bit on it. Oh, it was just yeah, because like he's a comedian. Because he's like. <laughs> That makes sense. I thought it was Norm McDonald's brother, the newscaster, but so that's... I might be wrong. It might not be Kevin McDonald, but I think he did a version of it, maybe, is what, I'm, what I heard. Probably. Yeah. I mean, who hasn't? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, I'm going to go do Is there any open mic nights? I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to do the Man of a Thousand yeah, Voices. July 24th. That's not an open mic It's not mic an guy. open Come mic for Fred and Wanick. Oh, yeah, oh, you can walk yeah. on any time. I'm going to read this page, the sting for the, the <laughs> station identification page, on stage, live... In a thousand voices. Oh wow! Yeah. That's a it's a two hour show. <laughs> Number it's four. On for two yeah. <laughs> hours. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I got this. Hey, that's number three. <laughs> are you? Uh, are you? Uh, do you find that you're typecast? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a question for other people. I don't know. You, you don't know. Like, do, do you keep getting sent out for similar roles? Uh. Mm. A.K.A. the dumb guy. Well, the, yeah, the dumb guy. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess so. I get a lot of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you? yeah. And my agent tried. He tried to. So I, I've been actually trying to get out of the TV and film biz. Like, um, not the animation stuff. That's mm-hmm. what I want to do more. Yeah. So I haven't actually been on an audition in like almost two years. Uh, consciously. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to do auditions anymore. Right. Which. Uh, so if something happens, they say we need you, then you'll consider it. But uh, yeah, but it yeah. hasn't happened, and I don't, <laughs> hasn't happened I don't see it happening. I mean, that was the thing. I was like, I didn't, I didn't expect people were going. To, okay, well, we'll just offer him the roles. You know, I figured I probably wouldn't be working in TV and film for so a no while. interest in that anymore. Uh, it it it, even, it made me miserable to be honest. Like the like I, ever, I, I realized that about four thirty every day, I would get all tense and kind of grumpy and like uh, anxious, I guess. And I realized that that would be the time when my agent would call. Like, ah, we got an audition for you tomorrow. I was like, right. you know, Arc, which was the wrong attitude to have. <laughs> not yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so I just said, ah, I don't want to, it's making me, it's not, it's making me unhappy. And so I just decided to 
sort of put my focus into other things. Mm-hmm. Hopefully creating my own work. What other things? Creating my own work. Such uh, as? It's like as writing, with, writing a scripts with the friends and trying to get other projects off the ground. Film, TV, kind of film, TV, theater, yeah. what? No, no theater. I, I can't go on stage. I got the stage. No, but you're writing. Years. You're writing. I don't know how to write a play. I don't oh, write okay. a play. <laughs> Who writes plays? It's yeah. just well, all dialogue, isn't it? No, it's <laughs> Put it in one room? Yeah. I just if, my, if I wrote a play, it would just be dialogue. Well, where are they? Well, they can be wherever they want. In front of a curtain. Yeah. <laughs> on stage, man. Why do I have to write where they are? They're on stage. It's well, a play. Well, wait a second. What do you do in film and TV when you're writing? Well, but you they, put them places because you have to. They're, obviously, it's like they can't. They they need to know. Are they in the car? Are they? You know. But when you're doing theater, they're on stage. <laughs> well, where should the see? And I don't care. They're going to be on stage. <laughs> So, uh, we, could that be a comedy bit? I've always wanted to. Yeah, I've always wondered I if I could be a stand up comedy. A plus. <laughs> <laughs> sounds great. Great, Fred. Yeah. Great job. Uh, no, oh, so, Fred Warner wants to be a stand up now, huh? All right. You, yeah, you really should capitalize. How many boys? That five? Yeah, five they got to say, you know, we'll call it four and a half. You, know? <laughs> you could open for Brent Butt. Oh, God, that'd be a disaster. Pretty sure Ivan no. would have something to say about that. No, Ivan's too big now. I guess that. so. Yeah. Ivan is uh, off in LA, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. 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 Je- Je- Jeff Hutchinson opens for him. Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie Hutchinson, yeah. Jeff Hutchinson. Uh, I'm Jamie idiot. Hutchinson, yeah. Jamie Hutchinson. I know, but, you know, people would love to see Hank on stage. But, the- but you'd have to come out as Hank. Just have to oh, be man. in character the whole time. <laughs> it's like when you see the Trailer Park Boys on tour, right? They're just like, oh, God. Yeah, have you ever seen them? Uh, met them once at the Gemini's. When uh-huh. the Gemini's were still a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And they were all done up in character. It was yeah. Yeah. Of course. They go everywhere in character. So was Mike Holmes. Although I don't know if Mike Holmes was in Who, character. Who's Bubbles? No, Mike Holmes. Mike who's Holmes. Mike Holmes. Holmes. Holmes on oh, Holmes. Holmes on Holmes. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who am I thinking of? Who was Bubbles? Bubbles. Uh, Mike Smith? Mike somebody, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the, did you say Mike Holmes was in character? Yeah, but he's, I guess he's he always himself. is. Was he, was he wearing a shirt? <laughs> he was wearing a shirt. And but. I think he might have been wearing, no, no, he might have been in a tux and overalls. Oh, God. What is, no. <laughs> wow. I got a question for you, Fred. Oh, okay. So you're working on scripts, you're writing, you're working on projects here in Vancouver? Yeah. Do you think this is the place to be doing it? Like, when you have a finished product, you work with your friends, and you say, I want to pitch this, are you going to have to go to Toronto? Or is Probably, there, yeah, yeah so you get, yeah, still yeah. that is yeah, the we'll, case, we'll right? Do, yeah. That's somebody else's job. Well, was that ever Switch? an option in your, in your life, thinking, I got to move to Toronto or L.A. or New York? Um. I had thought about it, and I did go down to L.A. for one, uh, you know, they call it pilot season. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't want to move anywhere. I like it here. Yeah. And, like, and then that's the thing in Vancouver. Vancouver's pretty um, service-oriented, so a lot, of the, a lot of the shows are American, which is great. It creates a lot of work. But if you want to get sort of the bigger, better roles um, sort of move on, it's, it's a bit tougher. A lot of those roles are cast down in the States. So uh, you don't really have a shot at a, a lot of the roles. You, there are decent roles that you have a shot at, but a lot of the stuff that shoots here, I just I'm not really what um, I think casting seizes those kind of mm. people. So I've been watching Lost in Space. Have you seen it? I did. I watched the whole season. Looks fantastic. It looks amazing. And it was made here. In it was made here. Yeah. In Kamloops. There's some. There's some. Bad continuity things in there, though. Oh, are there? Yeah, go watch back. They're, they're pretty entertaining. I haven't noticed, but yeah. no worse than the original series, because I watched episode one last night on YouTube. Does it hold up? Absolutely not. It didn't at the time, <laughs> either. Uh, I don't think I ever... I, don't, I, don't, I didn't watch the original one. Yeah, you, know, pro- like, you probably just missed it. You're a little younger. Is it? When did it come out? I don't know. I think 1965. 60s. Oh, yeah. And it ran for quite a while. Even. Well, it ran into the 70s, didn't it? That's, uh, yeah, from 19. Ugh. Well, we'll just say it did. Okay. But, yeah, no, no, the new one is fantastic. I didn't know about the country. It looks really, it looks yeah, really yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. And, and, we, yeah, my wife and I enjoy it. I, I liked it. It was I, Yeah, but, I'm enjoying but, yeah. it, too. I noticed because the lead actress, Molly Parker. Yeah. Canadian, so Canadian I go, oh, girl. this must be made in Canada. <laughs> and then, oh, no, I think No, she, no, she's great. Yeah, yeah. She, she. And then I was looking up the kids, and one of the girls play is played by a girl who was born in Vancouver, and I went, aha, mm-hmm. I know for sure now. Three seasons. It did three. 83 episodes 83 in three seasons. In three seasons? Wow. 
How many episodes of Corner Gas did you do in six? 107, 106, 107? Syndication. No, not in Canada. Damn it. (laughs) But it's played all the time still. Uh, that doesn't yeah. count as syndication. Well, no, because oh, no, it, it's still it's... on CTV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They just kind of, or a comedy, which is under the umbrella of Bell Media. But it's also been shown around the world. Uh, yeah, I don't know where all the sales were, but it was down in the states for a little bit. And, yeah. Uh, one of the like WGN, so not like every household in in the states, but like. Uh, 70 million, which is mm-hmm. small down there, but a lot for us. That's, That's huge. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. then, yeah, I get, I get emails from people from like China, Germany, Australia. Do you understand them? No, <laughs> no, but I know, <laughs> uh, no, they, they actually write me in English, which is nice. Wow. Uh, so I know it's, it, it gets seen, which is cool. Yeah, that is, yeah. that is very cool. I, I know Brent got to throw out the first pitch at a Chicago Cubs game. Yeah. That Anything cool. in hockey for you that you've got to do? I uh, I get to skate with the Canucks alumni from time to time. I get to play goal when they're Tiger goal Williams. Weekend. No, he hasn't been out. But guys like uh, Cliff Ronnie and Yurke Lume, Babich, you know those, those Jeff guys. Jeff Cortnell. I haven't seen Cortnell. No, but I'm hoping I get to call next year. Maybe the Sedin twins will be out. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah, that'd be all right. Because they're sticking around, aren't they? Even though they're retired. That's, yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. That's a weird question, guys. Well, no, no, because I don't follow hockey, but all I know is from the time they started until six months ago, I never heard one good thing about them. And then they're retiring, and it's like, oh, these guys are all class. Oh, really? They're they're great players. I don't think anybody doubted their their class and their, their, um, like, they you know, just their, what they've done for the community. I don't think anybody's ever doubted that. You're so negative, guy. Yeah, what the heck? Hey, man. I mean, there was always, like, early on, people bugged them for being, you know, they thought they were, like, uh, weak and couldn't handle the... Well, they are European, let's be honest. No, right? come on. <laughs> but, I don't know, I, I've, I, I thought, I love watching the Twins. I it was Favorite good. hockey player of all time? Uh, Richard Berder. Oh, really? King yeah. Richard. Yeah, he's the my... reason why I want to be a goalie. Yeah. Yeah. He was uh, pretty good. He's he still was around, good right? For a spell, yeah. I, he uh, he's a uh, really I don't know amazing. I like his paintings. He's a painter now, and he oh, does yeah? really cool like um, velvet lists. paintings. Vel- yeah, velvet paintings. Oh, I love those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the the uh, markers, you mean, right? With the with velvet, the... Out and you fill in the uh, yeah. <laughs> People can't see what I'm doing on. The I'm, I'm thinking no. of like the dogs playing poker. <laughs> so just to confirm, oh, I thought you meant those this, posters. This is what you mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I people still see. they can't see what we're looking at. But it's no, a, but you can. That's and you're the guest. So, so you like art? No, I don't know. I like it, but no. I don't know anything about it. Like I'm well, like, oh, that looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you have art at home? Uh, my wife is in charge of that stuff. <laughs> but our art is. I like what she picks. Like, there's one. My favorite one is this this bear having tea on a couch. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Do you have dogs <laughs> playing poker? No, I don't have that. Be <laughs> pretty great. Hey, Fred, it's amazing. time again. Oh, seriously? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, this is a live time. thing? This isn't something you do? No, we're going to also take it out, take the best one of what you do, and we're going to oh, run it all I the see. time. Okay. Yeah. This is an audition. Also it might not worst. even get used. It might not get also used. Also the worst. Oh, okay. It probably won't get used. I'm pretty sure it's already <laughs> been the worst. All right. Uh, any, any time? Go. Cool. All right. <laughs> this is Fred Awanek. You're listening to What's So Funny on CFRO 100.5 FM, Vancouver Co-op Radio. Awesome! Nail that. That's great. Wow. Yeah. See? When, now, when it's not I cold, go, he's pretty good. Yeah. That's Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do I've never done um This is this is Rocky Balboa. You're listening to What's So Funny on the CFRO 100.5 FM Vancouver Co-op Radio. Hell! <laughs> that's awesome. Now that's great. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I, I don't think I can do Schwarzenegger. <laughs> now you're like my mother-in-law and... Just turn. Oh, do this! It's funny. Seven. That's your seventh voice. The, that one I just. The mother-in-law, yeah, right, man. The mother-in-law. That's not voice. how she sounds. I don't know. Nine hundred and ninety-three to go. What, <laughs> what does she? Uh, what does she try to get you to do? No, but she. It's. I guess it was more when I was a kid. It was my mom actually always tried to get me to you know do little skits and plays oh, yeah. for the family. Uh, my mother-in-law likes um, when we go out for dinner. She doesn't do it anymore. I think she realized it makes me uncomfortable. But she tries to, like, if the waiter or waitress comes up, she'll always do, uh, she'll do, you know who this is? <laughs> you know? oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. No. And not once, not once <laughs> has anybody go, oh, yeah. It's always an awkward. Yeah. Um, it's the Earl's server is like the yeah. target market. That's where we were tonight, <laughs> yeah. Earl's. And she didn't do it. So, I, like, she's not. 
I love my mother-in-law. I just oh, yeah. and, and you sit there. Do you tell her don't do that? No, my wife does. My wife yeah. says, "Mom, no, mom, don't do that." One day, though, someone's going to know. One day, it is going to be if a she big came, moment. Yeah, if she came to visit me in Regina when we were doing the show, it would have it been like aces. It's like you know, it is. Yeah, hey, Fred, how you doing? Oh, it was your last week. Oh my God, Mark Ruffalo, everybody, <laughs> yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, how come nobody's done that? That would have been cool. <laughs> hey, uh, we we. I'm going to write a movie. Where it's like kind of one of those, it's like Fred, me and Mark Ruffalo, and we change places. Hey, Disney. Yeah, like what was that movie, The Dictator, and then the guy dies, and then, you know oh, the, what, the one I mean? Yeah, with... With uh, Napoleon, when they try to replace oh, Napoleon, that was, and he goes... Wasn't that a Woody Allen film? Uh, uh, Love and Death? No, not that one. Yeah, what do you mean the one about, like, Kim Jong-un? No. That, was, <laughs> that was the interview. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, it could know. be like that. Anyway, so will you have to audition for the role of you? That's what I want. Yeah, probably. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. Do you mind? Would you color your hair? Well, I guess I can color my hair. <laughs> but I, I'm me, and I have gray hair. Were you, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Not on the radio. <laughs> Would, um, were you a, a fan of comedy as a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, shit. it was like I mean, I, I know you were a funny a, guy. Your friends well, thought you were funny. Well, they were, see, that's actually I was talking with Brent about this. Um, oh yeah, you were just on the butt pod. I, yeah, I heard it. I listened. Like Brent, don't repeat yourself. No, I won't. But <laughs> I don't know. See, I don't, people with like growing up and stuff. I was the funny guy, but I, I don't know if I was funny more than just goofy would do stupid things. Mm -hmm. I think you uh, talked about it last time you were here yeah, too. Probably. So you, we scooped Brent, but. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, would you ask me... Before? If you were a fan of comedy, oh, if you yeah. were a student, if you loved it. No, a student, I don't know. Uh, I was. I loved Robin Williams because of Mork and Mindy. Mm -hmm. And then I started seeing his stand-up. And then... And then and you like, started to not like him. And then I hated him. No. And then I liked him even more. And then I started watching more comics like, you know, Steve Steve Martin and, and Eddie Murphy and, you know... Back back then, right. those guys, and so for a time, like a blink of an eye, I thought I would be a stand-up yeah, comic. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, and then and then I, you kind of realize that it's a lot of work, and you're responsible for it all, and then you have to go on stage in, in front of people and do it. And I was like, eh, maybe this isn't for me. I know the name of your autobiography. Yeah, the reluctant actor. The reluctant. Yeah, the, that's accurate. Yeah, yeah, like you don't want to go on stage in front of no, people. No, I hate to be. I, I, I did everything. You don't want to audition. No, I did everything I could to get out of school plays. And, like, <laughs> and I, then you went into theater. And then I, of I, course. Well, I had to go to college, and so I was like, yeah, I'll do this, I guess. Because yeah. people would tell me, oh, you should do theater. Oh, okay, I'll do theater. Like, I didn't know. Because you were the funny guy. Yeah, but and yeah. I just didn't have, I don't have a mind on my own. I just, mm -hmm. what should I do? Do, do theater, you, all right. Do you continue to listen or or watch comedy specials? Yeah, uh, as you um, become not a, an adult. Yeah, not a ton, but um, yes, Bill Burr is my favorite. Right is now. he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, he makes me giggle something fierce. Have you seen him live? No, because he, he comes here. I know he was years. here. <laughs> this is lame. This is how cheap I am. But he was here, and I got whiff of the ticket price. I said, Ah, just wait till it comes on Netflix. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You are the only one. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's not as good on Netflix, I gotta say. No, I I imagine it's not. It's way better to watch comedy with, a, just with a group of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I don't know. My wife and I we both giggle a lot, and she likes Bill Burr too. So okay, this she's uh, a keeper. She is a keeper. You know what she said? I I don't know. I, if she said, but she the other day it made me. We had this conversation. I wish it was being filmed. I asked her if she wanted soup or uh, nachos for dinner, and she said. Uh, super nachos and I said what she said super nachos <laughs> and I said yeah what do you want she goes super nachos I go you want both she's like what I'm like you want soup and nachos she goes no I thought you asked me if I wanted super nachos <laughs> <laughs> so we had super nachos maybe that's not funny I saw that. <laughs> it, yeah I saw that is your dad still here I can't yeah. see <laughs> He's on the floor. Yeah. What, what did you say? He got the part. <laughs> <laughs> of me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that tweet. I didn't know if it was based in truth. It was. We mm -hmm. had it. We were having uh, we were having porch beers. We get the afternoon sun on our front porch, so mm -hmm. we have a beer that, uh, for the last bit of sun, and that's when it all went down. <laughs> and the super notches yeah. came out. Hey, this leads into our, uh, our new bit, our new regular oh, segment. Yeah. 
We'll see if Fred can pass it. Ryan Beal did a great job last week. Oh, yes, he did. I don't like the pressure. And Mike Kaplan, which hasn't aired yet, but he did a fantastic job, too. This is called New Joke, Old Joke. Uh-oh. Or New Joke and or Old Joke. You don't need to do any. Oh. We'll just see if anyone in the two rooms here has has a new joke, like a, a bit by a comedian, a stand-up comic that they always think about or they really like. Oh. Or... An old street joke that they like. You know, you're telling your buddies, two guys walk into a bar, whatever it is. Right. Yeah, anything? Do you have any jokes uh, that you just I can't retain, love? Uh, I can't retain... I got I got one I really like, but I don't know if it's appropriate. And hey, it's it, appropriate. No, it kind of takes it a long is, yeah. time. That's okay. It's, no, because, you see, you guys tell me this, yeah. and then I'm going to walk out and go, wow, that went like aces. And then I'm going to go to my Twitter, and it's like, <laughs> you son of a, you know. I can't wait. Sounds uh, awesome. No, I don't know if I should do it now. I'm, I don't want to do it. It's not appropriate. Okay. But you'll yeah. tell us off air. I'll tell you off air. And yeah. next week, we will say what Fred told us. Yeah, we'll be recording it on our phones. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you can't think of any others because you can't retain things. I don't. I was. This is another thing. Not to keep bringing. I don't. I keep bringing up Brent Butt's name. I'm a name dropper. I guess I don't know. But um, we were talking about this. I. I don't know if it's my age or pucks to the head or. Uh, I have. I have problems retaining mm-hmm. uh, information. Uh, and then I. They could come. But weird things will come pop in my head that I remember that have absolutely no use to my life. Right. Yeah. Not jokes, though. No, I'll, well, on the way home, I'll go, ah, and I'll have like 30 yeah. jokes in my head. This is a big fail oh, this week. No, I got one. Oh, Sam, great. Yeah, fine. I didn't have any last week. Okay, yeah, here yeah. we go. So my, my girlfriend says, um, I'm nosy. At least that's what she wrote in her diary. Hey, Drake Sather. There you go. It's a classic. <laughs> I worded it very poorly. Yeah, you did. Uh, Alec, got any jokes? Yeah, you hear about the woman that uh, got charged with beating up her husband with his guitar collection? And the judge said, first offender? And she said, no, no, first was a Gibson, and then a Fender. Hey, this That's is a great like joke. super, hey. super nachos. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Thank, like thank you, Alec, for saving the uh, segment. <laughs> Oh, man. Did I get the part? That was yeah, good. You got the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good way because, you know, I'm terrible at remembering jokes, too. Yeah. You hear them and you go, that's great. And then you try to repeat them to someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it just yeah. comes out all oh, jumbled. Yeah. But that was good. But I, I like never that. claimed to be a comedian or a funny guy. It just Well, I think you did claim to be a funny guy. I did? Yeah, you said your friends, you know, you were the funny guy. Well, that's what they said, but I never said, oh, okay. hey. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> All right. Ah, first day of grade eight, I'm the funny guy. I heard you say on the butt pod that Nancy is a method actress. I can't remember if uh, we, Nancy and I talked about that. Or do you, are, is there any method to your madness on stage? Uh, like, well, yeah, I guess there is, yeah. Yeah, what is it? Uh, just listen to what the other person says and then say my line. <laughs> just waiting? <laughs> yeah, wait, time, wait. my turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that's actually, in a way, that is actually it. I just, I, I, I listen and however they say their line is, I just react like you would in a normal situation. Try to be open. So you, you listen to what they're saying. Yeah. Even though you know what they're going to say. Yeah. 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 That sounds stupid, but uh, sometimes you work with an actor that's not present with you. They're just in their own little world and it's really hard to, to work with them. And then every once in a while you get in a scene with an actor that, that is listening and you're feeding off each other and mm-hmm. that's. To me, that's when the best best stuff happens. Is that something you picked up along the way, or were you taught that? I taught. I was taught that by uh, by um, from a woman named uh, Shay Hampton. She still does classes and stuff. You know, we go in every week, and that's what we'd work on. It's mm-hmm. based on uh, oh. Meisner. Yeah. Is it? I don't, <laughs> I'm is pretty it? sure it's Meisner. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's but one, she's, she's one name that I she's knew. crafted it her own way for film and television and. Uh, and um, yeah, it's probably. It sounds cheesy, but you think of your body as an instrument, and the words play you as opposed to you playing the words. Yeah, that is really cheesy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I said hey, I that was you, the old joke, new joke, right? Was did I do it? Did it? Does yeah. that count as the segment? <laughs> well, when um, when you go on to an audition, though, it's really hard because the person reading the other lines isn't being present, right? So, yeah, and you have to work off. And that. that's yeah, and I I don't know. It, it's it's tough for me, and I, I don't like. Um, 
I've, maybe it's just I'm getting old and I'm grumpy and I just don't want to do what I don't want to do. But you feel like when you get an audition, you feel like you can't say no. Because if you say no, you're going to upset people and they're never going to bring you in again. Mm-hmm. So you're like, oh, okay, I don't really want, you know. So you end up, I end up doing auditions for roles and stuff I just don't feel like I want, I want to do or feel I'm up for or, should, you know, mm-hmm. right for. And, and then uh, it's just like a vicious, you know, cycle of anxiety and stress and you're done with that part of your life i think well i'm not forever i don't know maybe i'll go back no more absolute zeros for you no (laughs) what is your dream role though if you could you know king of comedy they would come you come back rupert pup oh that's amazing if they read it you would be perfect it'd be different it would be different but it would be amazing i would love to do that a canadian king of comedy yeah you and brent butt Wow. <laughs> He'd be Jerry Lewis and I yeah. 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 Yeah, I'd be. She did his talk show, right? Yeah. Uh, the he live show. It. Yeah. So that you know, lots of that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Can you do you know a guy? Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here now. <laughs> <laughs> you could write it. Yeah. I'll you write just write it. put in some references to uh Yeah, I'll just watch King of Comedy and write write <laughs> yeah, it down. Just the put entire in, put thing. in a few <laughs> Canadian references, yeah. you'd be fine. Yeah. All right, uh, you know this uh, with the guests that we've had before. How are we doing on time there, Sam? Oh, we got about seven minutes. Yeah, we—that's it. Yeah, yeah it's flying, man. Oh my god! Right? Yeah, have, I feel—I feel like I failed by not having up a, with jo- a joke. If he gave me a heads up, I would have had a joke. You think I should do that for guests in the future? Come in with a joke? I don't know. I, when they, for comics, it's probably easy. They got like a bag oh. of bag of jokes. <laughs> Only if they're. Don't they walk around like you know those change? Yeah. What are those change purses? A bag of jokes? Hey, you got any? Yeah, I got some jokes here. What do you want? What do you want? I uh, the yeah, Rolodex. I, see, I, I'm subject? not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. As soon as I get to the car, I'm like, oh god, I should have said that one. Wait, I then you got to tweet it to the show. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, write, do that. Uh, write a blog post and. No, I'm say. too lazy. I have to do it in multiple tweets. And, uh, oh, right. here's something else. Here's something you can do. Uh, okay. Random question time. Oh, because yeah. we've run out of questions for Freddie Wanick. We have here 22 questions. <laughs> I'm done talking yeah. with this. <laughs> 22 questions. You pick a number. This will be your. Question. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, sorry, how many? 21? 22. Oh, 22. Oh, I can't use that number then. You can use any number from 1 to 22. 14. Number 14. This was a question asked to Michael Che. You know, Michael Che, Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, How? Oh, I've already asked you. Did you? (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to give you a different answer, I guarantee. (laughs) How closely were you following comedy as a kid? (laughs) Oh, we just did that. Yeah, we just did that. Pick another number. Uh, Eight. Wow. Eight. Okay, this was asked to Albert. You just regurgitate all the... Albert Brooks, these are random questions. Oh. Yeah, random oh, in yeah. air quotes that nobody can see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Albert Brooks was asked, "Are you religious at all?" Uh, n- no, I'm not religious. Um, it's like the stereotypical, but I'm spiritual. Uh, I don't know what I am. I'm not atheist. I believe there's something greater than us. Were I don't you, know what it is. Did so. you grow up? At, at well, we, you know, by in Port Moody. Yeah, no, we were. I guess. Because my mom's side, uh, I'm like Italian, so you know Roman Catholic by you know birth, mm-hmm. I guess. But we we not in our family. We never went. I went to uh, church a few times with one of my aunts. Whenever I would stay with my uh, aunt Rose, she'd take me. But you weren't an altar boy. No, I like I was. A, were you? I was an altar boy. Uh, yeah. Was it fun? Oh, a lot of fun. You got to ring the bell. That would be fun. That was a highlight. I actually would have liked ringing a bell. I like ringing bells. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because I wasn't listening to what they were saying. I just, Why aren't the dogs? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to listen to this one phrase, and when he says it, I forget what it is now, ding a ling a ling oh. You oh. got to do that twice. That, that bell. I, I was thinking the big sort of oh, church no, no, bell. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that, that's all right. No, that's still cool, though. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty fun. I did go to... Um, uh, um, uh, what was the camp? You know, uh, uh, some kind of church camp. Church camp, You're like for a summer or for a week or what was uh, it? Yeah, we'd go on little camping trips just because mm-hmm. a friend of mine would go, so I go on there. Oh, so your friend yeah. was religious and he took you along. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to some things. Of friends of mine were religious, and I went to some things, and I didn't, I didn't like them because they would always try to get you. Yeah, I was too dumb to realize they were trying to get me. Well, I think that's they just gave up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you know, they want to make it, it's all fun and games. We're everyone's friends here, but really, they just want you. 
It's like when we were talking to Leland about his Christian comedy show. Leland Class and past guest on the show, he's he's known as a Christian comedian, and it's always this gotcha stuff that he's trying to dispel. Like that doesn't happen. Just come to the show and watch. <laughs> Unlike camp. <laughs> Unlike camp. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You guys talk a lot about past guests. I'm sorry if I'm not. Well, we talk about you when you're not here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're also a past guest. Oh, yeah, right. There you go. (laughs) Told you I don't retain information very well. (laughs) It was really nice meeting you guys. (laughs) (laughs) You. uh, you uh, you've done the butt pod. You did this show. What other podcasts have you done? Uh, the geekish cast of these uh, down uh, down south. Or these they became really big fans of Corner Gas. So they've had me and a few other. That's uh, great. What, yeah. is, what is it? The, geek- the geekish cast. Oh, cool. And yeah, they, they, they talk great. to actors from different shows that they uh, like? Well, they st- they start off just talking about all things kind of geek and, you know, nerdverse kind of stuff, mm-hmm. like, uh, and uh, which is a really cool show. And then they started this sort of side thing where they would um, talk, like, Corner Gas, they go through each episode. and Really? Yeah. They're really cool. That's yeah. awesome. Where yeah. are they? Uh, they're down in, um, uh, not, sa- um, south of Sa- uh, San Jose. Uh, just Northern California, and I can't remember the name of the town. Mm-hmm. They, they told me, but I can't remember. And, um, and and Brent's podcast, he started this, I don't know, a year ago, six months ago. He's done seven. Yeah. I've listened to all seven. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, but they're he, great. He's got to get on it. He does, yeah. He knows that, too. But he's <laughs> yeah. busy, man. Yeah. He's busy. Any podcast for you in your future? Uh, Nancy Roberts and I are toying with the idea. We've been doing some uh, test uh, casts. Go ahead, test cast, sure. test runs. Let's, let's call it that. Yeah, so we're, uh, it's a bit of a gong show. But with, you, with a guest or you just, just come up with a topic us. and just talk? Just the two of us, yeah. And you I been, don't know what the actual final format's going to be, but wow. we've been doing, uh, challenging each other to do the intro as like a celebrity. And then, hey, uh, kind of like yeah, practice. Kind of, yeah, Our practice. show is practice. Yeah, you, you guys though, are practice. Right? I've, yeah. I've got some. I'm going to do Stallone next time. <laughs> and then uh, maybe not. People are like, no, don't do Stallone. <laughs> Not That's good Trump. Trump. Yeah. <laughs> was that? Oh, Trump. I wasn't even trying. I don't even know I'm doing them. Number eight. And, <laughs> and, uh, and then we would uh, we would have a tub of topics. We would just pull a random topic and start talking about like it. Like our random questions yeah, here. Yeah, kind of see. So we got to come up with something new. We're just no, stealing no, everybody's idea. And then we, we end each, we've been ending each episode reading a... Uh, a cold read of a popular, like a movie from... Oh, you know, I, I love hearing that, you cold read anything. That's a great idea. <laughs> that's that's funny. <laughs> so, but I don't know. We've, bo- we've both listened to them, and uh, we've said, well, you know what? Let's uh, let's have a sit down and re- uh, <laughs> rejig the show a little bit. It's about an hour? Uh, no, we want to keep them short, like 25 minutes max. Uh, no, I want longer. I don't know. I don't think an hour of me and Nancy... I mean, I, we, we would love it. But I don't know how many people are going to stick through the full hour. And do you have a name? Uh, Way Off. Way Off with who gets top billing? Uh, I did. Fred and Nancy. Oh, I see. Just Just Fred and Nancy. Yeah, Fred and Nancy because it just kind of Nancy. I said we should be Nancy and Fred. I wanted to do like a a Don Cherry, Ron McLean, Don Cherry thing uh, where I would just sort of like let Nancy. Because Nancy is hilarious Mm -hmm. and smart, funny too, right? And so that's what I always envisioned. But then we just kind of just, I don't know, when we get together, we got... We like to go off on random directions. Did, did, uh, do you do a Don Cherry? No, I can't do Don Cherry. No, no. Ron Good. McLean. Yeah, <laughs> Ron McLean. No, no, no. Nobody in hockey. No, nobody in hockey. All right. Well, Fred. It's been a pleasure. That went so fast. I know. Are you gonna, That's a good thing, right? Are you going to walk me in my car? I will. I, I escorted Fred <laughs> here. Last time we were in a different studio, in a much quieter part of uh, Vancouver. Yeah. And this time I made sure that I was waiting for him at the curb. They're very nice. They're very nice. Yeah, everyone's nice. nice. I forgot the theme uh, outro tonight. Yeah. So, Sam, because it's his birthday. This is a good tune. Oh, it is. Yeah. Who is it, Fred? I don't know. Oh. It's uh, by uh, a man named Robbie Dupree. And it's, his, uh, it's his biggest hit, Steal Away, which is just a, a blatant Michael McDonald ripoff. Yeah, he sounds it like It sounds Michael like McDonald. What a Fool Believes by the Doobie Brothers. Oh, i got to go check it out now. I but this is really Robbie know. Dupree. Good. I wish you had chosen something without vocals, but that's fine. It's your birthday. It's my birthday, guy. You told yeah. me you forgot everything five minutes before the show started. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Fred, uh, Corner Gas Animate is on every... Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Pacific. And then, yeah. 
Eastern Pacific. Eastern Pacific. That's what they say. I don't know. Okay, it's on e- in eight o'clock. Eight o'clock Eastern, in the east. Eight o'clock, 8 o'clock in, the west. in the west. Yeah, and you know you can go to. I'm on Shaw. It's on video on demand. I can watch them all there too. Oh, that's anytime perfect. I want. Lucky Corner Gas Beaver. Anime. It's really fun. It is. It's it's a good I, show. I'm really. Pr- I I really enjoy. It. I'm really proud to be. Part yeah, of my it. son who watches all those cartoon adult cartoon shows. He's he gave it a thumbs He's on, up. Oh, nice. Yeah, good. yeah, that's good. What about, right. what about your pop? Yeah, Dad. Are you going to watch it on Monday? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Right answer. Yep. Watch, right. Uh, watch, and watch often. I need a, I need a job <laughs> <Yeah>. next year. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Fred. Thank you. Thanks, Alec. Yeah. My thanks, pleasure. Dad. You Happy bet. birthday, Sam. Yeah. Thank you. And we'll talk to you next Sunday. Good night.